Okay, I finally finished it. This is the basic plans to the Honeycomb 9 frequency dome. Let's have a spin round. Uh, I've just done a very basic um, set of plans with the dihedral angles, measurements, um, and things like that. There's no, I haven't added a base yet uh, or doors or anything like that. It's just the basic model. Uh, let me flick through the um, PDF here. So we have the first page, shows you what you're building. Second page is a plan view. Nice to be able to look down on something. Third is the front and the side view. Uh, from here you can see which colors go where. So you should be able to work out from both the front and side view um, where all the triangles go. You have blue, 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 pink, yellow, etc., etc. Uh, next we have the your measurements. This is your basic frame measurements in metric and your angles between the things. Don't rely on the angles, rely on your measurements because I have what I call check measurements. Uh, let me just flick between these. Let's take example this uh, pink hexagon. It's 849 millimeters from tip to tip. So you can check that you've made this correctly with your 403, your 428 and your 412. That, that cut that's the same it's the correct angle there you can mark it on your um jigs or whatever you need but the check measurements make sure that you get the right uh shaped hexagon because that can be a different shape um for example you could squeeze it into a different shape and make it wrong uh, uh, you've got a regular pentagon here and you've got a regular hexagon there so you uh, you should be able to be make them mathematically but the rest I've got some check measurements to sh so you can you know what you're doing. Uh, these are the bevel angles. So it's just pink and yellow. Uh, let me flick back to the pink yellow dihedral angle is 5.9. Uh, that would be this angle here between the pink and the yellow uh, frames. Um, now I've given angles to two um, decimal places. But there's absolutely no need to go that uh, accurate. Uh, let me have a quick look at these. Uh, six degrees. Um, that's nearly seven. You know, it's 5.6. You could easily round that up to six. So you really don't want to be doing anything less than six. And uh, nothing more. Six, six and a half maybe. You could maybe average them all out. Uh, I've got imperial frame measurements because um, people in the states often ask for them. So there's a, there's a, that that will save me doing a, uh, doing it later. Again, check measurements for those. Uh, right now, the next thing is the making frames. Because it's an open hexagon, op open honeycomb, there are issues with the uh, stresses. If you push down on an open hexagon, it's going to squash because the um, strain is from this point here to this point this is trying to crush and that's trying to open up uh, and you've got that much leverage you've got the leverage all the way between the two so it, it they don't they're not naturally very strong uh, got some instructions for you here uh, what I would suggest doing is putting a plywood brace around it like this and if you if you go into the expense of putting a plywood brace on you might as well uh, do a inner poly layer uh, put your pl plywood brace to hold everything at the right shape and outside poly layer and that way you get a double glazed structure so it'll be much more heat efficient it won't get condensation you'll still have to tape all the joints let's flick back again uh, you still have to tape all the joints which is going to be pretty shitload of work i would say uh, this is for, I'm trying to think, oh, I'll just flick back here. Let me just do the, um, I've got the, ah, there's the radius there. 2993, so it's about 6 metres radius, which is 20 foot in uh, American speak. Uh, just for those guys who wanted it, uh, let me know what you think down, down below. Uh, just bear in mind, Howard built this with no plans whatsoever. So don't be coming back to me if like uh, you can't build it because he didn't have any plans and, and he still built it. Thanks for watching. There'll be a link to the plans in the script in the description and a link to Howard's video 
uh, to show you the one he built without any plans. Catch you later.